Hey guys, today we're going to talk about setting up the controls on your motorcycle to fit you as an individual. It's coming up next. Alright folks, when a bike rolls off the assembly floor, usually the brakes, clutch, gear levers, brake levers are all preset at whatever the engineers have determined is going to fit the average consumer. Now, when you sit on the motorcycle, you might be six foot two, you might be five foot three, you know, anywhere in between. And depending on what your riding posture is, your physical height, it can determine the geometry of where your controls need to be. Now, let's get into it. Okay, so stand the bike up, get on, and assume your normal riding position. Now, where your arms are going to be, check the angle. That's what you want to set these front controls up as. Now, if you're a tall rider, you're going to have a steeper angle on which you need to set your clutch and your brakes. For me, it's not so much of an angle. I'm a shorter guy. So when I'm leaned over, this is the angle that I'm looking for. Now, I've already set my controls up. Now, when I changed over to the short levers, I had to move the controls on the clutch side inward. There's an angle right here on the clutch that needs to match when you pull it in. And also with the throttle side, I had to move it inward. So basically everything shifted to the left so the short levers lined up properly. Uh, so pitch angle is very important. It's easy to do. You loosen these two screws here and you rotate till it's comfortable. Uh, pick whichever one you feel you want to start with. I went with throttle side. Rotate that thing, get it set, and then match your clutch at the same angle. Walk around the front of the bike and make sure that they're level. All right, to do this, what you want to do is take your six millimeter Allen and you have a bolt here and here, top and bottom. Now, if you have the handy little T handles, you can use this to break them loose, okay? Just loosen your bolt a little bit. Doesn't take a whole lot. And then you can easily rotate the controls to where you want them. You can also slide them in and out. So if you look on the short lever, when I pull the clutch in, this brake or angle needs to clear where your headlight flasher is to pass. Make sure you don't have contact. So you may have, if you tilt upward, you may have to slide the controls inward. Now I had to slide everything in almost an eighth of an inch, or excuse me, three eighths of an inch on both sides. Um, but you still want to leave just a little bit of gap and clearance between the actual electrical housing and the hand controls. So get those angled where you want, sit on the bike and with your arms, straight your normal riding position you want a flat plane from your fingertip all the way up your arm that's when you know you've got the right angle in position so once you have that and you've got the proper clearance here to pull the lever in to clear all the controls just snug everything back up There you are. And then do your throttle side to match or vice versa. Okay, to adjust your shifter lever, what you want to do is loosen these two little nuts right here. So in order to do that, 10 millimeter wrench, push it forward, loosen it up. Same for this one. Put your wrench on. Break it loose. Back it down just a little bit. Now from the factory, this thing may be, you can see how much it's changing the geometry. Now if you're riding this bike and the shifter is down, if you have a larger foot or depending on what style riding boots you're wearing, you may have to kick your foot down 
and then back around to get under the shifter to upshift. So what you can do is adjust this bar by loosening those two screws and you can greatly change the angle. Now, if you watch, you can only shift it up so far and then this linkage will start to come loose just like that. So you want to make sure you have at least four threads. Don't go any, don't go any less than that. You want to make sure you don't lose your shifter linkage while you're cruising the highways. That could be bad. So I typically leave about four threads in at minimum. You can go just a little less if you're feeling brave. And then tighten your jam nuts back down. And they tighten and loosen in the same direction because one's a left hand thread, one's a right hand thread. And there you are. Thanks for watching guys and gals. I hope some of you find these tips useful for making your own motorcycle more personalized and comfortable for you while you're out riding. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, ride safe.